In this video, I'm going to talk about our recent work, Energy-Based Model for Continuous Learning. This is a joint work with Elon, Gido, and Igor. We will focus on continuous learning on classification problems in this talk. Taking the MNIST as an example, there are 10 classes in the data set. We separate the data set into five subsets, and each subset has two classes. In class incremental learning, the model needs to do classification from all same classes. The biggest challenge in continuous learning is the catastrophic forgetting problem. As shown in this figure, there are five tasks. The accuracy of task one is close to one when we train the model on the first task. However, it suddenly dropped to 0.5 when we train the second task. Similarly, the performance of second task drops when we train the third task. Virtually all the existing continuous learning approaches are based on the softmax based classifier. And we found that the softmax normalization is one of the main reasons that causes the catastrophic forgetting. And here is an example. The the MNIST has 10 tasks, and each task has 10 classes. For the data from task 1, the ground truth class should from 0 to 9. The last figure shows the result of softmax based classifier after training on task 9. The correct prediction should along the diagonal. As we can see, the model using soft mass based classifier, the lowest negative probabilities happens between 80 to 90. This happens for all data from different tasks, even their ground truth labels are not 80 to 90. After training on task 10, the lowest negative probabilities shift to 90 to 100. This means the soft mass based classifier already forget previous learned tasks and only predict classes in the current training task. In our paper, we propose to use energy-based model as a building block for continued learning. In our energy-based model, we try to optimize the joint distribution of input image X and label Y. E is the energy function that maps the input image and label to a scalar value. C is the partition function for normalization. In practice, we found that the conditional probability already achieved good results. Inspired by some energy-based model works, we propose to use a contrastive divergence training objective to train our model. Given an image, we hope the energy between the image and the ground truth class label to be low, and the energy between the image and the negative class label to be high. During testing, we fit each class label to the energy function and compute their energy with the image. The prediction is a class label that has the lowest energy. Here we show the uh, architecture of softmax based uh, classifier and our energy-based model. Uh, our energy-based model takes both the image and the label as input and output their energy. The architecture of energy-based model is very flexible and allows us to combine the information from image and class label in many different ways. Why energy-based model can mitigate catastrophic forgetting? Here we compare the proposed contrastive divergence training objective and another two baselines. The first baseline, all negative thing, means the negative classes are all classes seen so far. The second one, all negative batch. The negative classes are all classes in the current batch. Uh, well, uh, one negative batch is the proposed training objective, which only sample one single negative class from the current batch, and we find that achieve the best results. The proposed training objective is helpful for our energy-based model. Is it also helpful for other continual learning approaches? And here is the result of the baseline approaches using their original training objective and our modified training objective. Uh, there is a big improvement. Meaning our energy training objective uh, can be also applied to existing continual learning approaches and improve their performance. And here is a comparison of energy-based model with baseline models on four different data sets. For fire compression, we only compare with methods that do not use replay buffer or generator model. And our energy-based models significantly outperform baseline and achieve much better performance on the more challenging data set, C400. Here is the energy land maps. The left part is the self mass based classifier, and the right part is our proposed energy-based model. The darker the diagonal is, the better the model is in providing forgetting. Our energy-based model can predict the new classes without forgetting old tasks. We have shown the results on the standard continuous learning setting, which we call boundary wire setting. In this setting, models are first trained on the first task and then move to the second task. Moreover, models are told when there is a transition from one task to the next. However, it is more realistic for tasks to change gradually, and the models don't know the task boundaries. Some people propose a boundary agnostic setting. In this setting, 
Models learned in a streaming fashion and the data distribution gradually changed over time. Most existing continued learning approaches cannot handle the boundary agnostic setting because it requires the task boundaries. And we show that energy-based model can naturally handle both the boundary aware and the boundary agnostic settings. Here is a comparison of energy-based model with baseline models on the task agnostic setting. Our energy-based model outperformed baseline by a large margin. If you are interested in using energy-based model for continued learning, please find more information in our website. Thank you for listening.